Okay, this lecture is about the buck boost converter. We discussed about the buck converter, then the boost converter, and, uh, and we solved several examples. Uh, now we I'm moving to the buck boost converter, which is actually a combination of the two. In the buck converter, we have a step down voltage where the output voltage is the input voltage multiplied by the duty cycle where in the boost converter the output voltage is higher or equal to the input voltage so it's Vn over 1 minus D for the buck boost converter it's a step up and down so the uh, relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage is Vn times D here where the buck comes in divide by 1 minus D but even in this uh, converter to drive the equations that governs the system the system operation we have the same for assumption that this converter is already working on steady state we have all the components are ideals so we don't have losses then the output voltage here is constant at any time and finally it's operating on continuous conduction mode so let's continue uh, I would first begin with mode number one for this circuit so the switch, the IGBT, will be on in the first mode, so we will have two modes for operation. We have mode number one when the IGBT is on, and then when it's off, and then it's on again, so we have DT, and then we have T, which is the period. So when the IGBT is, or the MOSFET is on, the battery will charge the inductor here the diode will be on, off and then the capacitor is connected to the output so the capacitor is discharging through the output in this direction so we'll have the voltage polarity flipped so if we look at VL at any time it will equal to the input voltage and we know that the current in this mode when it's on for mode number one we assume that it's a steady state so it will start from a minimum value to a maximum value at DT so what we gonna have here is IL the current through the inductor will equal to the minimum current which is this one plus the rate of change of the of the current with respect to time which is VL v, the input voltage divided by L multiplied by time so let's say this is number one, equation number one. We know that delta IL is equal to the maximum current minus the minimum current from this equation. We have this, this is the slope, so I max minus I min will give me delta IL. So let's say this is equation number two. And if we I want to plot the voltage, VL in the first mode is equal to VN. Now we will go to the second mode, which is when the when the current is when the switch is off then the current will decline again till 
it reach I min again and this happens at time t so the converter will have an open switch here then this inductor will force the diode to switch on in this case the inductor will charge the capacitor and will supply the the load the source will be disconnected from the load and this time if you look at V out this is VL so VL will equal to negative V out so we will have here negative V out this is VL if I want to write the equation for mode number 2 then IL at any time will equal to I max which is here minus the output voltage divided by L multiplied by T minus DT and since we are gonna make T equal to the period which is T capital at T capital we will have I L at T capital is I min which is equal to I max minus V out over L T minus DT in this case this is equation number 3 and this is equation number four so from equation number two which is this one and equation number four which is this one we can find a new equation which is Vn divided by L dt is equal to V out over L T minus DT and then taking T as a common factor it will go with this T L will go with this L and then finally we will get V out over VN is equal to D over 1 minus D In this case, when d is greater than zero and less than half, it become a buck converter. When d is greater than half, and uh, less than one, we will get a boost converter. So it's a buck boost converter. Now for an ideal buck boost converter the input power is equal to the output power the input power from the battery for the source is equal to the output power so Vn times the average input current will equal to V out square over R in this case Vn times In is equal to that's from this equation here use V out so it's gonna be Vn times D over 1 minus D whole square multiplied by 1 over R 
So Vn times In is equal to Vn square times D square over 1 minus D whole square multiplied by R. The square will go with this one. We will get In in average equal to Vn times D square over 1 minus D whole square times R. So this is also called the source current, the average source current. This is how we find the input current. Now to find the minimum and the maximum current, I min will equal to Vn over R times D over 1 minus D whole square minus Vn over 2L times DT and then I max will be the same the only difference is instead of minus we will put plus so this is how I find the minimum and the maximum current in a buck boost converter now how to find the diode current we know that the diode current on average is equal to the output current on average which is equal to V output over R and since I diode is equal to I C which is the capacitor current plus the resistance current then IC as a function of time will equal to ID as a function of time minus the average diode current as a function of time if I want to plot this one I diode as a function of time would be zero and then will be on for during off period from dt up to t here is max maximum i current and here is minimum current for the capacitor current it will look like this it's minus v out over r which is minus i r and then it will be identical to the diode current for the second period except it will be shifted here I max minus V out over R here I min minus V out over R so this is I C now for the peak to peak ripple voltage delta V out is equal to which is the peak to peak ripple voltage of the capacitor and the resistance is the change of charge divided by C the change of charge is simply V out over R times DT divided by C here is delta V C V0 so C is should be greater than D and D here should be at maximum over R F times delta V out over V out and here the the load resistance should be at minimum so that we will avoid working under DC DCM mode this to the uh, the capacitor that is needed to reduce the peak to peak 
rebel voltage of the output for CCM condition L must be greater than 1 minus D square times R divided by 2F this is another factor that affects the operation of the converter so next I'm gonna solve an example that will make everything clear to us for this type of converter